Hello everybody and welcome back to the discord.py bot tutorial um, When this series I go over a bunch of different features commands events different things that you can do With discord.py and how you can manipulate that through using a bot um, Hope you guys are all having a good day uh, today. We're gonna be going over um, Pretty similar to what we did last episode last episode. We went over user info and um, if you guys haven't seen that before, um, after watching this video, I recommend checking out that because it's pretty much the same command. Today, we're going to be looking at server info, which is the same exact thing as user info, except it just returns all information on the server instead of a certain user. So, um, and by the way, if you're familiar with different term, a Discord server is the same thing as a Discord guild. It's what Discord.py uses to refer to it as. Um, so, you ever, if you ever seen see the word guild anywhere in this uh, video or anywhere else, guild means server. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Um, first thing I do want to note is the documentation. If you guys are ever wondering, like for example, in my last video, like member.status or member.display name or member.top.role, top.top underscore role dot mention. Like if you're wondering where I get these like phrases from, it's all straight from the discord.py API reference documentation. So for example, just, I'll leave this link down below go into it and see i just searched up the class of discord.guild and these are all the different attributes and the methods that you can do inside of this class so obviously there's a lot of different stuff that you can get about the server as you can see you can get the icon of the server all the emojis in the server the categories the channels when it was created at um, the description of the server the banner their owner who the the name of the server the nsfw level the splash self for a roles channel roles vanity URL you know i don't have to list off everything but my point is there's a lot of different things you can get about a server and a lot of different things you can do with a server for example delete an emoji or create um create a role like there's a you can check out for the bands um get a certain member um unban someone kick or leave that's how you kick someone is through the the class of discord.guild but anyway my main point of this is you can look at the documentation and find all this information for yourself if you know how to read the documentation and you want to expand on some of these features because i'm not going to be covering all of these features obviously that would be a lot in one command but i'm going to cover the basics if you'd like to come look at this and be like hmm in my server info command i want to put what the afk channel is if you'd like to put that that's fine go ahead and do that i'm not going to do that because i don't think that's important but i'm going to put the most important things in there or at least that's the most important things that i think should go in the server info command but this link will be down in the description, like I said. Let's go ahead and dive into the server info command. So we're gonna go ahead and create another command, client.command, and we'll put some aliases, and we'll put um, s info, or just do server, that's good. And then async def server info, ctx, and then we don't need to pass anything because there's only one server as for the, um, the user info command we have to pass a certain user but this is just going to be for the server oops so first we're going to create our embed embed is equal to discord that embed if you don't know what an embed is i i would like i said check out the video before this because i covered everything about an embed possibly so that that video covers embeds as well as long as who embeds as well as user info and the shutdown command was in the last episode it was a pretty pretty big video not gonna lie um so the title we just wanted to say server info and then in description we're gonna put here's the server info on the server and then we can do um or actually i think it's just ctx.guild.name i don't i don't think we need to create this Never mind. That should return the name. Um, if not, I'll see exactly why that is. Again, color equals discord dot color dot green. Time stamp is equal to ctx dot message dot created at. And then we can um, let's go ahead and just send this. Make sure this is all working because I want to make sure the uh, what is wrong with this positional argument follows keyword argument there's no argument that follows keyword argument what 
give me oh okay the arrow went away i was really confused i'm like this this does not look wrong to me okay let's do dot s info let's see if i'm correct on this so, yeah here's the server info on the server youtube tutorial and as you can see the name of our server is youtube, YouTube tutorial so we know that is working correctly um all right let's start adding fields so let's do embed dot add field well actually first before we do that um go and just code code block this out let's set the thumbnail just like I, i'm just kind of referencing the code that i'm looking at up here and let's create let's uh set the thumbnail so embed dot set thumbnail url is equal to and if we go back to documentation we can use the guild dot let me find it uh it's somewhere in here guild.icon here guild.icon so we can put in here url is equal to guild.icon and so that should put the the little icon over here as the um thumbnail and not just guild but ctx.guild.icon and so let's go ahead and see if that worked like i said in the previous videos always rerun your code restart your bot to make sure whatever you write is actually working so dot s info and that did not work embed dot set them on urls you go ctx it might have to be underscore url i don't hmm. let me see dot s info nope that hasn't worked give me one second so yeah it's not icon url give me one second to figure out what it what the actual syntax for that is okay so it turns out that this was correct i was correct um it's embed dot set thumbnail and ctx.guild.icon but the only reason it's not returning anything is because the icon is, hasn't been set so if i go ahead and i just put an icon to this why, why do i not serve settings there it is and let's just put something here desktop files and let's put just my logo there save changes now when i do dot s info is the bot not on oh i haven't restarted the bot since the last time dot s info now we see the server's logo there it just it wasn't anything before so it wasn't returning anything um, okay so there we go and now let's start adding fields so embed add field and let's go ahead and look at the documentation and see what we want to add let's add we want a member count for sure let's look for members uh member underscore count there we go easy enough so embed add field name is equal to members value is equal to ctx.guild.member uh, dot count there's underscore count member underscore count member underscore count so that should be working let's see if that works dot s info there we go members two because this server has two members in it fantastic uh what else can we add member count we can add how many emojis there are we can add how many channels there are um i believe let me look real quick yeah there's text channels and there's voice channels so what we can do is do something like this we can do embed dot add field name is equal to channels and we can go value is equal to an f string that has um ctx dot guild dot text underscore channels and then we can say that number text and then pipe ctx dot guild dot voice underscore channels and say voice so this should say channels and then the value is going to be the um the amount of text channels we have and then it says text and then a pipe and then the amount of voice channels we have and then voice so this should work and display how many channels we have and if you want the total channels obviously you just add them up um ah okay so when we call when we call ctx.guild at text channels and you actually see if you click on one of these if you click on text channels it says it returns a list of text channels that belong to the guild um so it's not actually just the name so what you want to do is since we return a list we're going to check the lin of this list because that's the actual value that we want uh, let's go ahead and run this again so it should tell us just how many are in that list 
and now as you can see members two channels one text one voice if i were to add another text channel and i do dot s info now it says two text one voice so that's how we can see the info of that let's delete that and what else can we check for um we can check who the owner is sure why not embed i'm just gonna do a couple more and then the rest you can do on your own but pretty much how i'm doing this is go here if i find something that i want to see like if i want to display what the rules channel is boom click on that read a little bit about it you don't really have to but just return ctx.guild dot and then whatever you want to look for so we're going to add owner that's what we're looking for and then value is equal to ctx.guild.owner and i think it's going to be dot name because the owner should return a type of dis of a uh, discord dot member let me see this might okay yeah owner sanimo or i can do you know owner dot mention owner dot display name i can do anything um here I'll, I'll go ahead and explain why i'm doing all this so if i go to the dot owner you see property owner uh, the member that owns the guild and it returns the type of member which means anything that i can do to the class member i can do to what's returned as the owner if that makes sense so when i call ctx.guild.owner it returns a class type of member which means i can do ctx.guild.owner dot any of these because now i'm returning the class type not just like the name or something of them i can specify what exactly is returned back um okay so there's the owner let's do maybe one or two more uh is this for the guild yeah discord.guild um what else we can put out when you uh the premium subscribers is the amount of boosters uh, a server has so server boosters premium tier is their tier of boosters uh you put how many roles there are um none of these are like seriously important uh give me one second i'll figure out what what else i want to add to this all right so i think i'm gonna do um we do region the region that the server is in description of the server um and we can do what else can we do we'll see let's go ahead and just do region oh we can do windows created at because that one deals with a little bit something a little bit different name is equal to region first easy enough value is equal to ctx.guild.region uh embed.add field uh what else did i say embed description description so value is equal to ctx.guild.description so you can see how easy this is literally just read the docs and add what you want and then also i want to put windows created at so created at value is equal to ctx.guild.created underscore at um but if you watch the previous video you'll know that when i put the dot created at it returns something that's formatted very weird it it's pretty much like a very long number that means like almost nothing um so if you want it to be formatted correctly you're just going to go ahead and copy this dot strf time with this format behind it and it's going to automatically be formatted a little bit better for you um let's see how that look how that works it should all be working hopefully if i didn't mess anything up dot s info and it didn't work what's the value i mean what's the error guild has no attribute region oh so it is, is it not region what's the actual thing um <laughs> let me see region oh okay it took me to a different part that voice channel no wait guild is it not region what okay what is it called i have to f i have to figure out what the actual name of it's called i know that there's a way to get the region somehow Oh, okay, so I'm actually just reading here that apparently changed in version 2.0. The region parameter has now been removed out of the guild. Um, so that's interesting. Um, I was unaware of that. So we can go ahead and just remove that out of our server info command to get rid of that. I was not aware of that, but not a huge deal. Um, let's go ahead and go back. Dot S info. And now we have the description, which currently it's none, and I'll show you when I change that, and when the, when the server was created at. So Saturday, August 27th, and it's all formatted correctly. If I were to go in here and add a description, which I don't really know how to do. Where is description? Okay, I found the server description. Apparently you had to like make the server into a community server or whatever. 
whatever anyway here's a description so if i put it something like this is the description of the youtube test server and then i just set it like that save changes it save i don't know if that's saving or not <laughs> hmm i don't know if that's saving or not i hope it is we'll see no i'm pressing save changes i know why can't i whatever okay i think it worked um community so updates oh okay <laughs> let's go ahead and do .s info and it should update there so there you go this is the description of the server youtube test one two three so that's what we wrote but yeah that's the basics of the server info like i said i've pretty much explained to you in this video how to read the documentation or at least how to go through documentation and get the own functionalities on yourself um i've shown you how to make a server info command so now you should be able to go to the documentation and look at all those different attributes that the class of discord.guild has and you'll be able to you know take those different values in and put those into your embed or your server info command however you'd like um but yeah that's pretty much it for the server info command there's not really much to it it's pretty much the same thing as a user info command just using different values obviously um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day if you have any questions leave them down below in the comments um Make sure you like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you'd like to support me. Um, yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.